The clutch assembly kit consists of a new clutch, a clutch drum, and the washers needed for mounting it to the engine. Over time, your tool's clutch will wear. It will begin to slip under load, and you will notice the tool will perform less and less like it once did. Replacing the clutch assembly is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless drills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the rear cover from the motor. Next, I'll remove the side cover from the throttle trigger handle. I'll remove the throttle assembly from the shaft. Now I'll remove the three screws that secure the shaft assembly to the engine. Now I'll remove the clutch drum. Now I'll remove the clutch. The clutch is threaded on to the crankshaft. To remove it, I'll place a screwdriver on the edge of the clutch and then strike the screwdriver with a mallet to break the clutch free from the shaft. Now I can install the new clutch. I'll place the large washer over the crankshaft and then thread the clutch in place. Again, I'll use the screwdriver and mallet to tighten it up. and it will tighten itself as you use the tool. Now I'll place the two thin washers over the crankshaft and reinstall the clutch drum. Now reconnect the shaft to the engine. Now I'll realign the throttle handle with the shaft and install the other half. I'll secure the two halves together with the screws. The last screw secures the throttle handle to the shaft. I'll make sure the hole is aligned and then secure the screw. And I'll finish up by reinstalling the rear cover. And that's how you can install a new clutch assembly in your small engine. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.